How's it going everyone? I hope you're all well. In front of me I have three different music boxes but from the same series of Legend of Mana or Seiken Densetsu in Japanese. I'm not that familiar with the RPG, I just know it by name, I haven't got around to playing it. I don't think I'll ever get around to playing it, even though I want to. But it's a popular RPG series anyway. So you've got three different ones here from that play different music. Uh, based on the theme from each of the games. So these two are from Legend of Mana 1, I believe, and then this one is Legend of Mana 3, Trials of Mana. So let's go with this one first. So this one, the title is actually in Japanese, but I think it's for the Sparkling City of Ruin or Bujord City of Ruin. I'm not sure on the official uh, name of that theme, uh, but I saw both uh, online. So this one, I've actually opened all three of them already, but it does come in a plastic wrap, similar to all the other music boxes from Square Enix. The size of this is the same as those ones as well. So you can see it's a nice plain white box with some nice graphic detail on there of some jewels. So a sparkling jewel, sparkling city of ruin or bejeweled city of ruin, uh, up to you how you want to call it, I suppose. Uh, but let's get this open. It does come with a tape slit there, which I've already cut open. Um, this one, by the way, doesn't have any English on there, but it is available on the official Square Enix European store. So you can pre-order it there if you want to. Um, so yeah, I've opened this already before, but I just put it back. Uh, this is just going to be the leaflet in Japanese. Nothing on the other side, no English this time around. So let's get this out. So you've got this version of it in white. So the packaging always kind of follows the similar sort of color scheme of the actual music box itself. So here's the music box right here. So Bejeweled City in Ruins. I should have probably remembered that actually. How embarrassing. Um, but this is the music box. Same footprint and size as all the other ones that, the, that I've covered before. So the near ones and the Final Fantasy VII ones, for example. Uh, but this time it's a slightly different color. Got a bit of a pearl white look to it rather than that lemon ice block that some of the near just out replicant ones had. So this is still quite nice. And you've just got a silhouette over the two characters. I don't know the two characters. Like I said, I'm not familiar with this series. But otherwise, it's the same sort of music box, just with the relevant kind of uh, details to this series. So let's give this a twist and give it a listen. I'm going to carry on talking because these notes are quite short for all the music boxes, uh, which has been some of the comments that have been uh, left in some of my videos that they, they tend to be quite short, not long enough, which is a shame. I know that, that I do agree with that as well. Um, I'm not familiar again with this tune. I have liked and enjoyed this tune just from this music bo box on its own and even the other two as well, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. So that was quite nice. But I do agree with what other people are saying that notes on these music boxes tend to be pretty, pretty limited. Let's get on to the next one, which will be Hometown Domina or Domina. Domina? Domina. I'm not actually sure. By the Japanese one, it says Domina. So Domina, I suppose. But let's get this open. So this is the same size as the music box I just showed you. Likewise, again, for the near music boxes. But this time in green, still has a tree on there as well. And then on the side, it has some leaf iconography down the sides which looks quite nice in my opinion the green is pretty good this music box by the way looks really really nice i love the green that that turns out inside so wait for it wait for it wait for it wait for it so the same sheet that comes with it there and there you can see the music box in another plastic wrap i always put my stuff back properly or i try to at least put the box aside so here's the green music box for hometown Domina. it looks so good i really like the green on this one only worry is though that it's a fingerprint magnet as they all are but the color your fingerprints won't really show up on something like this so much it does on the near automata ones because they're jet black whereas these ones yeah you might see your fingerprints and you're probably going to see some scratches hairline scratches uh, pretty quickly if you're not careful with it so just be careful with it but i love the green on it you can see it kind of shines through and reflects back it's really really nice it just yeah i love the way this one looks and then you can also get a hint of what the Trials of Mana one is going to look like just based on that packaging, right? But it looks great. It gives you a view of the actual inner workings this time around. Most of them don't let you do that. There's some translucency to the black near ones. And then there's a Final Fantasy XIV one, which is clear. So if you've got those, then you know how this pretty much works. But this is the first time I've got one that gives me clear visibility of the inner workings. So you can see the little chimey bits there and the note uh, barrel over here as well. And then the twisty bit is there. And you can see how that all connects up. So pretty cool, pretty cool. If you're really into that kind of technical side of things, then this might be even more interesting to you. 
but yeah it's, it's good that they've done a different kind of color for this one really really nice the way this has come out let's give this a test listen as well This is a nice tune as well. I haven't actually heard the original theme itself, but I like what I'm hearing with this one. And like I said, because of the translucency or transparency of this box, you can see the barrel turning and the notes being struck as well, which is pretty cool, if I do say so myself. So I didn't mention it before, but just like I've done with all the near music boxes and the Kingdom Hearts ones and the Final Fantasy ones, I will have separate videos that will just be the music of each box playing in a loop for about two minutes or so. Um, so check those out if you really just want to hear the music on its own for a good, good while. Remember the notes are short, so this is no different from the one I just showed you. The notes are quite repetitive. It's just a small, tiny segment of the main theme, which is a shame. I do hope they can maybe do a slightly bigger music box one day uh, with a bit more of the song playing or maybe even all of it. Finally, let's get on to the Trials of Mana one in a nice blue box, which kind of tells you what it's going to look like inside. So once again, same size as the other two that I showed you as well. But just in blue, Trials of Mana, Legend of uh, Legend of Mana 3 in Japanese, Trials of Mana. Meridian Child is the name of this theme. You've got silhouettes of the characters there. And then some more on the other side. Uh, I definitely prefer the other two in terms of box designs. These silhouettes are okay, but yeah. Let's get this open as well. And show you how beautiful this music box looks as well. Same, you get a, a leaflet in there. Let's get this out. And then you get a nice, nice blue jewel looking music box. So once again, same size and shape, but this time it's going to be in the blue, which has some transparency to it as well. So let's give you a side by side with the green one of Hometown Demeanor. And then here's Meridian Child. Might as well throw in this one as well, Bejeweled City of Ruins. So you can see they all look really, really nice, honestly, even though this one doesn't have this kind of gemstone look to it, this, despite being a Bejeweled City theme um, it still looks really nice i have to say but these two they're so different they're absolutely gorgeous i love the blue in this one blue happens to be one of my favorite col colors as well so this is awesome really nice as well just have this with some nice lights around it and then you probably see the blues and the greens shining and reflecting really really beautifully on the box then you've got character silhouettes that we saw uh, on the actual outer packaging i don't know any of these characters once again i don't know anything about this series but it's cool to have all of them there. Very similar to the Final Fantasy VII one. And then, yeah, you can see the inner workings again. You can see the barrel there with the notes and all the other sort of inner working stuff happening. So if that's your kind of thing, then yeah, this should be pretty interesting to you. Worst case, you can still open it as well for the ones that you can't see, like the Bejeweled City of Ruins. Let's give this a test lesson as well. So this is probably my favorite theme out of the three. I remember I haven't heard the soundtrack. So this one actually got stuck in my head. So I was end up whistling it uh, for a good while in the evening. So I really like this theme. It is repetitive once again, just a small barrel, very few notes, which is quite a shame. But I like, again, what's, what they're doing with these music boxes. So if you've seen my other videos covering a lot of the other near music boxes, for example, then you should kind of know what to expect. So these did originally cost around 15 pounds, I think it was. On the Square Enix UK site, the Trials of Mana ones, or the Mana series in general, are about £19.99, pounds, uh, which is yeah more than what they used to cost, and that could be for a number of reasons anyway, uh, which is a bit of a shame that they've just bumped up the price like that. I imported mine from Japan. I think I got these from Hobby Search, it was. Um, I'm going to leave some links in the, in the description below, so those will be a mix of affiliate links and then just the usual Square Enix direct links. But yeah, I'll leave links to all three of them, so Trials of Mana, Meridian Child, Hometown Domino, and Bejeweled City in Ruins. So all three really cool looking music boxes, pleased to have got them uh, in hand, even though I don't know anything about Legend of Mana. Thank you very much for watching, I will have three different videos covering just the music only for each one of these music boxes. Thank you for watching, take care, see you in the next one.